most people don't know this, but AT&T's Bell system started the mobile phone network way back in 1946. It was extremely limited. The phones were around 80 pounds and had to be installed in automobiles. The network first rolled out in St. Louis, where only three mobile telephone conversations could take place at one time throughout the entire city. Even as the network grew, most cities could only support about 20 mobile channels at once. That changed as cellular transmission technology was developed at Bell Labs throughout the 1960s and early 70s. Finally, in 1978 and 79, AT&T tested the first major public cellular network in Chicago. It was called AMPS for Advanced Mobile Phone System. Only 10 cellular towers covered the entire 60,000 acres. Today, there are close to 150,000 towers in that city. About five minutes into this film, you'll see some of the transmission equipment and a short animation that shows how that early cellular network functioned. It's not so much different from today. In 1983, AT&T launched commercial cellular service in Chicago, and the Windy City became the first American city to get the new technology. The very first official call was made from Soldier Field to Alexander Graham Bell's great-grandson in Germany. Soon, cellular customers could buy portable cell phones similar to this one. It cost around $4,000 and weighed two and a half pounds. Uh, can I call you right back? Uh, I'm in the middle of something. Thanks. Now, here's AMPS, coming of age. People on the go. Busy people, moving, working. But some of them still able to keep in touch by telephone with business partners, customers, family, friends, even while they're on the road. That is, if they can get hold of a mobile phone, and then if they can get their calls through. Because only a limited number of channels are available, the service is restricted even in our nation's largest cities. In fact, in New York City, only a dozen or so mobile customers can be on the phone at the same time, while the others have to wait for an open channel. But that's not the case in Chicago today. For more than a year, some 1,300 customers of Illinois Bell Telephone Company have taken part in a trial of the Bell System's Advanced Mobile Phone Service, or AMPS for short. And they've been telling us how important their mobile phones have become to them in their day-to-day -day business. Uh, we feel that the AMPS system has been just fantastic for us in, in that it makes us the fastest people on the street. We beat our competition hands down in being able to make the contacts to our customers. If a problem develops and I'm talking to the customer, my salesman is able to instantly get on the phone with the customer so we can all talk together and handle a problem instantly rather than delaying it three or four days till everybody gets together. I'm just leaving home now and I was wondering if he had any calls for me. Joe Dixon called. He has rejects in the plant and he wants you to come by and look at them. Okay. For me it's been, uh, I think it's increased my productivity a lot. Uh, I feel more organized with it. Um, I can organize my day better. If I'm in a rush in the morning, I can, um, I don't have to worry about getting everything done right there. I can handle it right from the car. Then I'll probably go on to um, uh, see Sam at noon. AMPS gives me total management with my uh, business. I can manage my business right from my truck. A customer will call me. If I don't answer right away, the job will go to someone else. I'm able to take the call right now, call my customer back, and I'm, because of AMPS, I can get the business. If I didn't have uh, my phone, it would be a disaster. Uh, I don't know what I'd do, really. I'd be back to uh, coming off the tollways, looking for a phone, customers yelling, screaming, where are you, why haven't you called, why don't you care? It's important for me to be accessible to other attorneys and the clients. I feel more secure with the phone in my car because I can reach my office and they can reach me. Usually when you're out of touch with your office, you are in essence out of business.
roughly I save about 3,900 gallons of fuel a year. If you're talking about a truck getting four or five miles to the gallon, and if you drive out an extra 20 miles out of your way, say 10 miles going to find a phone and 10 miles coming back, this does consume quite a bit of fuel, and this is only one phone call. We feel that with the AMP system and our salespeople, uh, we are able to uh, eliminate perhaps putting on another salesman and thus uh, make our calls more complete and, and save us in, in, uh, in additional salaries, cars, and gas in additional salespeople's cars. I can continue to work uh, from my car, and uh, I think this uh, allows us to keep our costs down. Um, and today, when all costs are going up, I would probably have to hire another associate or possibly another secretary to handle uh, what I now handle on a day-to-day -day basis from the car. Amps can actually save me up to three, four hours a day. There's no more running around looking for a phone. It's right there with me. Mobile phone systems can be an asset to many businesses. But what gives Amps the crucial edge over regular mobile offerings? Basically, it's availability and reliability. Regular mobile systems use a central high-power transmitter to serve an entire city. But this way, only one telephone call can be handled on a radio voice path at one time. And voice paths can't be used again in nearby areas because of interference. For the customer, this means busy signals over 50% of the time and a lot of frustration. On the old system, which I was uh, exposed to about five years ago, uh, you have to wait for a channel or a line. Sometimes that could, could be a half hour, if not longer, which can be a maddening thing when you're trying to get through. Uh, the new system, of course, uh, a channel is always available immediately. As soon as you, you get your number and it's dialed, bang, it's, it goes right through. The difference between the amp service and the radio phone I had, there's just no comparison. There's, it's a hundred percent improvement. The service I had before was, it was just terrible. There was static. There were people listening to my conversations, which I didn't like at all. And there were, I could never get a line when I wanted one. The new design and technology of amps tackles the problem of a limited radio frequency spectrum. AMPS makes many more radio channels available at one time to many more customers by using a number of low-power transmitters. Each transmitter is the heart of its own separate area, or cell. As a vehicle drives from one cell to another, advanced electronic equipment at a central location called a mobile telephone switching office automatically transfers the call by telephone line to another cell without the caller knowing it. While the call is being switched from cell to cell, the MTSO maintains the connection to the telephone network and the call is completed. By using the cellular concept and the telephone network, Bell Systems scientists found a way to conserve a limited natural resource, the radio frequency spectrum, and still offer mobile phone service to hundreds of thousands of users. The phone is... Uh independent unit from the standpoint that I do not have to go through a mobile phone operator uh, for its use. I can call my office and they can call me just as you would use a regular phone. And this telephone I can dial anywhere I want in the world and I've got a number. The reception is perfect. I've never had a bad line yet. What the new system is the transmission and the reception. It's just like my calling across the hall here to another office. Uh, in the old system, it was like speaking through an overseas telephone. My AMP system is very reliable. Uh, this truck takes a, takes a beating, does a lot of bouncing. Uh, it goes, we go through a lot of bumps and bou uh, together. And uh, this phone, is ever since the day they put it in, it's, uh, it's still in beautiful working condition. It's just been terrific. It's very reliable. With nearly 99% of the calls completed successfully during the Chicago trial, AMPS has proven its reliability. And with its revolutionary cellular design, a system like AMPS could provide quality mobile service wherever the telephone network extends. A service capable of economically serving hundreds of thousands of customers who are looking for new ways to save time and energy. By the end of 1980, 
the FCC says it will lay down ground rules that will allow systems like AMPS to be installed across the country. When the guidelines are set, the Bell system expects to be in the marketplace to provide AMPS, an innovation in economical, efficient mobile service. If I had to describe the AMP system in one word, I would have to say it's great. It's been terrific. The best that they've ever come out with. Excellent. It's just outstanding. Just fantastic. It's perfect.